What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with a shop video. Finally, I'm doing some content here in the shop. This is a super exciting video because if you notice, the shop is empty. There's a huge echo when I'm talking in here. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, so in today's video, we're going to be doing a armor epoxy three layer floor system here in the shop. If you don't know what that is, it's an epoxy coating that goes on the floor. Uh, and three layers, obviously, to give me a nice, uh, sexy, and super industrial floor system. So this is going to be sort of an installation, how-to uh, video on how to do this floor system. I have to give a shout out to Armor Epoxy. This video is sponsored in part by those guys. Um, you know, we've worked together to get, I'm actually sitting on 780 pounds worth of epoxy material here. All the mixing components, the buckets, the, uh, you know, all the stuff that goes with it is here inside this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And then, you know, after I get this done, I'll show you what the shop looks like after the floor is complete. This will be sort of a week long process. So this video will be sort of all montage and compiled together to make one video. So stick around. We're gonna dive into how to epoxy your shop. If you have a shop space that you wanna do a floor system in, you can kind of see, I've got <laughs> some burnout marks here in my shop. I uh, got a couple oil spills over in that direction. Overall, my floor is not in terrible condition because this building is, uh, it's brand new actually. So, but there is some you know, tire marks here on the floor. There's some oil spots uh, here and there. I have been doing a little bit of work in the shop. So, you know, I have made a few messes here and there. Uh, and what's cool about having an epoxy floor system, concrete is very porous. It's kind of like a sponge. So when you spill things like that, oil, transmission fluid, antifreeze, uh, even tire marks. Uh, the concrete absorbs all of that stuff to the ground and uh, it makes it very difficult to clean. And then obviously it leaves spots on the floor, which just, you know, it's, it's just kind of an eyesore. Um, you know, so the reason you'd want to do an epoxy floor system is one, so your cleanup is a little easier, actually a lot easier. And of course two, it just looks amazing. So anyway, let's jump into this guys. I'm going to show you what's all on the palette, how it comes when you order a kit from Armor Epoxy, and then we're gonna dive into all the steps necessary to do a floor. So depending on the size of your project, will obviously determine the size of your pallet. For me, it was this. So my shop space is about 2,500 square feet of usable shop floor. So it came in a pallet that weighed 780 pounds. So Saran wrapped up. So let's get this all opened up and see what's inside here. Yee! Everything you need to do your project comes in the kit. So uh, this is the Armor Ultra three layer system. I opted to go with a light gray color. So to go over what we have, epoxy kit light gray. So we've got three gallon kits. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kits of the epoxy kit light gray. And then we've got, this is our top coat. So one of those, two of those. I think that's it on the top coat. Oh no, here we go, smaller box. Top coat. Okay, so primer epoxy. So this is the first coat. So we got one, two, three. Six. Don't fall. All of your buckets, mixing components. This is the acid magic. Okay. All right, now that you guys have seen everything that comes inside the kit, everything is all unboxed, kind of get an idea of what it looks like when you get your order in. Let's go ahead and start the installation and the preparation process. So the most important part about anything is prep work, right? So obviously we wanna make sure that the floor is thoroughly cleaned and degreased and smooth so that way when we go to apply our product, we don't have any issues with it coming up. Um, so the last couple days, that's kind of what I've been doing in the shop is I moved everything out, which was a job. Uh, let me just tell you that. After we got everything out of the shop, then we swept the whole shop out. There was a lot of just debris and dirt in here from you know, previous projects. And then I vacuumed the concrete actually, which sounds kind of funny, but uh, 
Yeah, so it's been swept and vacuumed. Now the next step for me is I'm going to degrease and pressure wash the entire shop out. I will probably do this process three times, squeegee all the water out the doors, um, and then you know get ready to do the etching. So we're just gonna etch it and apply the product. But if your floor is in really, really bad shape, you might wanna consider having the concrete sanded to make it smooth, or just get down a little bit deeper into the concrete to make it a little bit more porous so that all of your product sticks uh, really effectively. If you look behind me, the shop is still a little damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix the, the acid etching solution. This is a lot of work, man. <laughs> Into a bucket. Make sure I read that right. Diluted the acid, four parts water, one part acid. Okay, so one of these and then four water. Safety first, guys, safety first. So we're gonna go and get some gloves out. <laughs> All right, so one of these. See it smoking? Yeah. Don't breathe that in, man. Well, essentially that's a five gallon bucket, so. <laughs> okay, so that's one. Now, the tedious part of applying this stuff. More dirty the floors, all this stuff. Good thing about it, I got quite a bit of this stuff. I'm keep pouring. Moving along. Now we've let the etch sit for actually about an hour. The instructions say 45 minutes, but we let it sit for about an hour. Now it's gonna be another two or three hours spraying the entire floor off and squeegeeing all of this crap out of here. So, uh, long process. All right, now that the shop is totally clean, the floor is prepped, there is uh, nothing preventing us from going forward with the first layer of material. So this is the primer epoxy one-to-one -one mix. The first six cases will go down uh, as the, you know, obviously the base coat on the floor. So like I said, one-to-one -one mix ratio, you're gonna open up those cans, make sure they are shaken really well and then pour them into your five gallon bucket that's provided in the kit using your supplied stir rod you're going to just stir it up for like 35 to 40 seconds just until the mixture is nice and you know even then the tedious part you got to start laying the material in small like two inch strips uh, seem to work well for me and then i worked in sections that were equivalent to like a two-car garage uh, in my space and then, uh, you know, the roller here, again, supplied with the kit, it's an 18 inch roller and you just, you know, you go to town, you start rolling out your first layer of primer on the floor and then you let that sit for 24 hours. So come back in the next day. This is the top 
coat or the solids epoxy coat. This is the heavier and the thicker component, again, in the light gray. So this is a three part. So one part A, one part A, and then a third part B. So you're gonna, same thing, shake them all up, put them in your five gallon bucket that's supplied. I worked in one box at a time. So three gallon increments uh, seem to work really well for me in my space. Again, supplied stir rod, you're gonna stir it up for, this one is a little thicker uh, compound. So it was like 45 seconds to a minute to get it all nice and stirred up nice and even. And then this one, same thing, you're gonna pour it on your floor, small strips, make sure you pour it evenly spaced. Uh, it seems to make the material a little easier to work with throughout your, you know, your workspace. Once you've got it all poured out, uh, in small strips. It comes with a squeegee um, that you're gonna move the majority of the material around as even as possible. Then you go back in with another 18 inch roller and you just start rolling it out. Pretty straightforward. You're literally painting the floor. Uh, you know, it is a heavier epoxy, so you know, just take your time. But it, uh, this layer was actually pretty easy because the floor was primed. The first layer was a little tougher just because the concrete was soaking up a lot of the primer. So you can kind of see what the primer looks like. And then the second coat starts to go on top of that. And you can kind of see the sheen just glossing up uh, as we start to apply the second coat. So finishing off the last square of my shop here with the uh, last three gallon increment of material. Same thing, just pouring it all out evenly. Uh, you know, walking on the supplied spikes on your shoes that comes with the kit. Same thing, just squeegeeing the material out as best you can. Uh, again, it just works really well to move as much of it around with this tool and then roll it after the fact to get a nice even coat throughout your floor. And then, you know, once you've got the majority of the material moved where you want it to, you're going to let that sit for another 24 hours and come back for your final coat. Okay. Jack and I's first time seeing it, their second layer. So we're going to get. Oh. So freaking glossy. Oh. Wow. Oh my God, look at that. Damn. That is crazy. Wow. That is incredible. It's wow. so shiny. <laughs> See my face in it. I do. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the final top coat that's gonna go on, which is a gloss anti-skid. So that's what we're about to start doing. Can I do a flip or something on it? Mm -hmm. You gotta walk like you're gonna... Huh? I don't hurt it. Oh. So shiny. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here, we are at the final step. This is a part A and B three gallon kit, which is the top coat. This also has the anti-skid ultra wear additive added to it. So same thing, part A, part A, one part B, goes into the bucket, three gallon mix is uh, you know what worked well for me. So I worked in three gallon increments, same thing. Pour them in your bucket, get them all nice and uh, mixed together. Once you've got all three of those things poured into your bucket, then you're gonna add in the additive. So this goes in, it recommends one can per three gallons. I wanted it to be a little more glossier than recommended. So while I did take out some of the anti-skid properties, uh, I think it suits my aesthetic that I was going for a little bit better. So same thing, I usually did uh, about a half of that can versus a whole can for each three gallons of material. But again, uh, instructions and recommendations say one of those small cans per three gallons. But uh, anyway, same thing, mix your material up nice and even, and then just like the previous step, you're gonna just walk out onto your floor using your spiked uh, little shoe things that come with your kit, and then start laying your material out. Same thing, you wanna get it as even as possible, small, 
you know, two to four inch little strips, kind of like what I'm doing right here. And then um, I did find with this last layer, it's a little thinner than the previous coat. I did not need to use the squeegee this time around. I just used the roller and it worked really well just to move the material and lay it nice and even. And then, uh, you know, kind of like the same thing before, you're just gonna be painting your floor uh, for the top final coat. And then you will wait again another 24 hours for it to finally cure. It's suggested 24 to 36 hours before you bring a, ve a vehicle onto it. But uh, yeah, stick around. I will show you the final 100% cured and shot put back together results here in the next clip. Okay, we're back. It's been actually, <laughs> since the last portion of the video, it's been several weeks and uh, I've just been on the road so much, but here's the floor. The shop is done. The floor is 100% cured. You can see I've already got a couple vehicles in here. I got tires, there's stuff everywhere. There's parts. Yeah, I, uh, I've been busy. So wanted to show you guys the overall finished product with the floor. It's been 100% cured. It's got all three layers of the epoxy on the floor. I've got messes here and there. I've already swept it up. Uh, it cleans super easy. So I'm going to show you what the floor looks like after it's been finished and cured. And uh, if you want to do a floor like this in your own space, link is in the description, armorpoxy.com. Those guys over there are absolutely incredible. This is a American company. It, uh, it's a dad and a couple brothers that run it. And, you know, just super down to earth people with a phenomenal product. So. I highly encourage you to check them out if you're considering doing an epoxy floor in your garage, shop, wherever you're planning on doing something like this. They have several different color options, uh, additives with the top, like with the specs. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the finished product. Here you can see what the floor looks like. Again, this is after a few weeks of me being in here actually working on the floor. So it's dirty. You know, there's stuff in here. There's uh, you know, trash, debris, and dirt. I've been taking apart some trucks and stuff, but uh, you know, overall, it just kind of wipes up and cleans really easily. So, which is really cool. And then, you know, you can really just sweep it out. I have found that a 36 inch or 48 inch, uh, like those sweeper mops, I forgot where I have it, I think it's over here show you actually you can see the floor as I'm walking around on it um, you know from the last portion of the video is really glossy you can kind of see there's like some specs in it um, you know that's the anti-skid additive that's added in I like I said I took out about a half of what was recommended so I could have a higher gloss but um, you know I've been sweeping it up with one of these and it works great I mean one pass and the floor is super clean uh, this is really dirty here. I've been taking this old Jeep apart, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's the shop guys. That's the floor. I will do a full shop update video here soon. And uh, the shop is not 100% put together yet. I still got my tire machines not put where they're supposed to be. It's, the stuff is just a wreck right now. But uh, anyway, that's the floor. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. I know this was a little different video than the normal stuff that's on the channel, more of just a uh, an update for the shop. Uh, but there's gonna be a lot of content here in this space real soon with some other really rad vehicles, uh, including the Bronco. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys me doing the floor because it was you know, not an easy task to do this, but it substantially changed the overall aesthetic and feel of the shop tremendously. And uh, Totally worth it, in my opinion. Cleanup, aesthetics, all of it just looks great.